The 25th annual Chumash Intertribal Powwow wrapped up this evening. News Channel reporter Mina Wahab spoke with different tribes about the importance of their history. Growing up in Canada, Melinda Goodwill felt isolated among her peers in Catholic school. There was never truth told. The history Goodwill learned in school clashed with what she knew to be true growing up as part of the Lakota tribe. This propelled her to create an entire career to share the history of her people. I became a Native Studies teacher and I told the truth. Goodwill has been retired from teaching for two years now, but she still places an emphasis on education and cultural preservation. It is important to dance and take in ceremony, celebrations, those kinds of things, but having the education to actually teach it is another thing. Native American tribes traveled from all over North America to promote Native American self-reliance and pride at the Chumash Intertribal Powwow in Santa Inez. We are not gone and we're not only in, in history books, this is who we are and we're, we're alive and we're thriving. Tribe members danced, sang and drummed throughout the weekend. Noemi Velasquez explained that these dances are prayers and offerings. It all goes out through the feathers and goes into the heavens, all our prayers. Community members and tourists visiting from all over immerse themselves in learning about the different tribes. Having a blast. She's quite a dancer and she's already been trying to, to, to learn from them, so it's been nice. Visitors also supported local businesses by purchasing jewelry, dream catchers, and food from the various vendors. Velasquez has a message for community members who have come to support the events. Respect their sovereignty and their land rights and to respect the traditions that have existed here prior to colonization. It's good for them to learn our ways because we were the first people here. In Santa Inez, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab.